welcome, greetings in the name of Jesus Christ, the living God. If these videos encourage you, all I ask is that you share it and it can encourage or bless someone else. The body of Christ is is filled with people all over the body with knowledge and wisdom and things of that nature and things revealed to them, you know, not just the pastors or the shepherds or or the deacons or anything like that or even just the evangelists, right? Um, So today is, basically, simply put, Catholicism, Catholics are, are false, in, in, in their in their doctrines of belief, right? Um, and 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 in in this video and in the videos to come, I'm going to talk about Mormonism being false, Jehovah's Witness being false, and things like that. Uh, it I'm going to use common language, right? Like common everyday people language, and I'll refer to what the Bible says, and you can go cross-reference this stuff, but this isn't just based on, like, scripture picking. I, I'm giving you ideas and, 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 and summarizing some of the things that are in the Bible that support that there's no possible way but Jesus being the only way, and it's not by works, but it's by grace, right? Um, a free gift of God. Obviously, there's like the famous one, you know, like uh, we are saved by faith through grace, a uh, free gift of God, uh, not of yourselves or your works, uh, lest that any man should boast, right? Um, now, it, it, I'll, I'll say this before anything. To, to know that something is false, all you need to really understand is the truth. And then anything that varies from that you can automatically deem as false by knowing just a little bit of the falsehood in it because you already know the truth, right? So, so now if somebody, like, you don't know how, like, uh, so for example, the, the most common example that anyone can get is a fake dollar bill or a fake money in whatever country you're in, um versus the real one if you study all the fake bills or all the fake coins it's gonna be really really real it's gonna be very difficult to actually find out what's fake right what what is the easiest best way to find out what is fake by studying the real thing right go for the 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 usd the american dollar right the u.s dollar all you have to do is study the real $100 bill or the real $50 bill or the real $20 bill and that's all you need to know. It Then you can spot, because now there's going to be a lot of people that have their own things that kind of look like the dollar bill but not in every aspect, right? So now if, if you tried going the other way and studying all the fake dollar bills, all the fake uh, coins, all those fake ones, it's going to take a lot longer for you to to categorize those fake ones, right? Okay, this fake one has this. Okay, this fake one has that. Okay, this fake one has this. Or, or this one has this. And then you're going to have to, like, you're going to have to, to basically, like, gather all of them, right? Which, which, which will take you too long. Just study the real dollar bill. Just study the real one. And anything that varies from the real one, you'll know immediately. It's, it won't even be a question. Sometimes it'll be an obvious one. You can look at, oh, the color's off. That's fake. Oh, oh, this is off. That's fake. Oh, this is not there. That's fake. Oh, this is not there. That's fake. You know, so like there's there's things like that, right? Or, or there's the pen test. There's the, the, the light test. There's the magnetic thing. There's a lot of things that like the real dollar bill has that if it was even slightly off in the fake, you would immediately know that it's fake right so that all goes back to catholicism catholics they have a fake belief it's 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 not the gospel right it's not like paul in galatians i believe he says if anyone 
comes to you and tells you a different gospel that we have preached to you. He, 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 doesn't just, he doesn't just stop there if any man comes to you and, 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 and preaches you to another gospel. He said, even if an angel from heaven comes to you and preaches to you a different gospel, let him be accursed. Like, th- these are not light words, basically, right? It's like, it's like, if, it's, it's like if, if you came, if you came to, to, uh, if you came to your house, right and then and then you you laid down a rule because you were so serious about it he said if anyone breaks this chair you're getting kicked out right let's say your kids are all grown they're in their 20s whatever and they live with you right and you say no i don't care if like (laughs) it could get to that point right (laughs) like i don't care if if if, well no i guess that wouldn't be a a, a good example because the person has to live there in order to get kicked out um Okay, let's say like the the dad or the mom or whatever says to everyone in the house, hey, if anyone breaks this chair, they're going to refund it completely for $500. I don't care who it is. It could be the president or whatever, right? So then like somebody breaks it and then, you know, they have to replace it. And it was like their friend or something or like their their friend's parents and they're going to have to replace it, right? But that's obviously like not, it's not the same, but like just just get the idea like that they don't care who it is you're replacing that chair right so 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 take that earthly light like not even as weighty example and apply it to the thing right to to what paul said he said if anyone even an angel from heaven right even an angel if they come to you and preach to you another gospel let them be accursed right anathema which is like let them be condemned and separated from god forever right so he's like there is no other gospel there is no other way you are saved through jesus alone not through works and if anyone tells you different let them be accursed right so so that that that, that's the crazy part right that that many not even many well well i should say many because um, some people are loose Catholics, some people are hardcore, whatever it is, right? Some people are just lip servicing Catholics. So, like, if you if you if you see what what he's saying, there is no other gospel. And he clear in the same letter clearly lays out, you cannot cannot be saved by your works. And if you are preaching that. Paul has cursed you. Paul has said, Paul basically asked God, he said, hey, yo, God, if anyone preaches anything different, please curse them. May they be separated from you forever, right? Like this isn't, this isn't a light thing. If you just sit down and think about this, think about it. Paul is saying, if you tell other people any other thing besides what we have preached to you, let, may you go to hell. May you be separated from God. May you not taste and, and see what the Lord has at the dinner table for his saints. May you not enjoy the labors of God's work, right? May you never see the, the day of light in heaven, ever. May you be separated from the Holy One. May you go into the place where there's we- we- weeping and gnashing of teeth. May you be in the, in the lake of fire. That's what he's saying, literally, right? If you unpack what he's saying. So, so, so these things, these things, they happen, they happen. Right? People twist the truth for this for, for whatever sake it might be for, right? But now 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 these things the Catholic won't believe because they might bring up James. Faith without works is dead, right? Well, your works are an evidence of your faith. It's not the other way around. Right? I don't need to look at you like if, because Jesus looked at the heart. If anybody should be justified, it would be the Pharisees. If that logic is true, it should be the Pharisees that, that receive God's kingdom and that receive God's uh, knowledge and that receive God's uh, uh, wisdom and things like that. But no, because the Catholics act exactly like the Pharisees. No, we have to do works in order to know that somebody is saved. What? I, like, I, obviously the devil works in a mighty way. 
where he shall deceive many. Because broad is the road to destruction. Many are on it. We're just going slow. I'm just like, what the heck? So that's the, that's the part where, yeah, I, I think to myself, if I said, I went inside a green building, and then somebody recorded me saying that on video, they had, they, they, they had, they, they had like multiple witnesses in person. They had people write it down in their in their diary that day. Oh yeah, there was this one dude. He said like he went into a green building today, right? I'm talking like like multiple people, right? Like l- l- let's let's just say that. Now with what? Follow me here. Now all of a sudden, even though it's recorded, even though it's one, it's it's clearly marked not just by me right not just by like i'm not just by my own witness because i could if if let's say i remembered me saying that i went into a green building right and then let's say like 10 people wrote in their diary because it's just what they do like where where i was at the time oh yeah this person today you know he said uh you know he went into a green building it was caught on video people you know witnessed it via their own eyes and ears and heard me say it then all of a sudden, somebody wants to come up and say, no, actually, he didn't say that. He said he went into a white building. Now, th- this, it, I don't need to actually explain it, right? It's too obvious. A five-year-old can say, oh, well, what about, let's just say it was 50 people that witnessed it, right? What about the 50 people that said you went into a green building? Are they all lying? Right, like it simply, simply put, like, wait, what? What about the fifty people that saw it? What about the video recording that saw it? Is that lying too? This is like simultaneously, right? So there's no possible way, unless it was like, like organized, that'd be the only way. But then at the end of the day, that'd be a lie, right? Oof, excuse me. So. Uh, so now let's now let's bring it back to the Catholicism, right? We're talking peop, hundreds of people seen Jesus and what he said, and 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 he said he is the way, the truth, and the life. Many knew this. Paul, who was killing Christians, knew about Jesus, or else he wouldn't be killing Christians, right? So now Paul goes, and he is the one now telling people, actually, Jesus is real. And this is what we need to know. Jesus says that he's the only way, that no one comes to the Father but by him. I'm just like reiterating Paul's beliefs in what Jesus said, right? Paul would base, is, is in agreement with Jesus, and that it's not of ourselves, it's actually a gift of God. And if it's a gift of God, you can't work for it. A gift isn't workable. That that that, that debunks the idea of it being a gift. What do you do with gifts? You gladly receive them, right? It might not be a good, it it might not be the gift that you want. It might be a gift that you need, but you might not, but what, what can you do if I went around and gave other people gifts? What did they do? A, a gift. Look up what a gift means. This is it's not, it's not, it's not, it's simple. It's simple. What does a gift mean? A gift isn't something that you work for. It wouldn't be a gift. It'd be a wage then. If you work for something and I gave it to you, you are getting what you what you worked for. If I gave you a gift, there's nothing that you can work for. It's a gift, it's free, right? It's free, what? Now, now think, think, think about this, all right? Think, think about it, think about it. Let's take a second and just unpack it. A gift is free, there's nothing that the other party can do. 
they can receive the gift or deny the gift. That's literally like it, right? That's it. If, if I if, if I walked up to you and I said, hey, here's here's I guess like a book, You'd be like oh, you might be shocked, like oh, uh, th- thank you. I didn't need a book, but thank you, you know, like or like you know, oh, he, he, here's 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 the book for your class, like oh, thanks, man. I needed this. Thank you, you know. Or you walk up to someone else. Oh, here's like ten thousand dollars. You're like, wow, thanks, right? A rich person might not need it, right? But someone in middle class might really appreciate it, right? Because they probably get like hundred fifty a year, right? So like close to like what was that? Like Twelve thousand a month, whatever it would be, right? Or or thirteen thousand a month. But somebody that's in in, in the lower, in in the in the poor class, they'd be like, oh my goodness, thank you so much, you know, like. It's still the same gift, right? Depending on the person, they will receive the gift differently, right? But it, it, so, so, so think, think about this, Catholics. It's, it's generally known that they, that they are works-based religion. I say religion because it's not the truth. I'll say truth when I talk about Jesus. When I say religion, it's something, you know, it's man-made basically, right? Like. Like, a gift is free. If you work for something, that's a wage that you get. If you put in 500 hours at a job over the next few months, you get 500 hours of pay over the next few months. If I gave you a gift, if I gave you a bonus at work, that is money that you didn't work for. It's a bonus. You didn't work for it. It's a bonus. If I gave you a car for free as a gift, it's a gift. You didn't work for it. If I gave you a car and you exchanged me for money, that's not a gift. You paid me for the car. It's 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 not hard. It's it's simple. It's very simple. You just need someone to explain it to you. Catholics believe you need to work for your salvation what okay now i'm gonna get into to to breaking down what god has done and us working for god right so now what people say and and i'm i'm this this isn't just this isn't just like Catholics, this is a lot of other Christians that have broken off into making their own cults or their own religions, right? When you say, I need to work for works, or I, I need to work for God's grace, right? Like Mormons, uh, Je- uh, Jehovah's Witness. Um, well, Jehovah's Witness, just, they just have a false belief. Uh, more, well, I already said Mormons. Uh, what was it? Uh, Hebrew Israelites. Uh, and, 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 and a bunch of other, a bunch of other ones, right? So what I'm saying is from the beginning is all you need to know is the truth. That's it. Then you can dissect that. Then you can dissect what, what is false. Cause you already know what the real thing looks like. All you need to know is what a hundred, what a $100 bill looks like. If that is, uh, and then, then you can spot a fake from anywhere. So all you need to know is study Jesus because he is the way, the truth, and the life. And no one comes to the Father but by him. So now when Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life, no one comes to the Father except through me, except through Jesus, right? So now what you are saying, if you are a Catholic or a works-based religion, you're saying Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And no one comes to the Father except through Him. But I'm also going to bring my works. Because that is also going to help me get to the Father. But God Almighty said Himself, No one comes to the Father except through Him. No one. No one comes to the Father except through Jesus. There's no such thing as works when He said, no one comes to the Father except through me. Did he say through me and works? No, no, no. And and, and I'm not trying to play a, a, a. I'm not trying to do like wordplay or something. I'm just trying to. 
He said he is the only way. It's exclusive. It's exclusive. You can't add you into the mix all of a sudden. What, what do you have to do with Jesus being the way, the truth, and the life? What do you have to do with Jesus bringing you to the Father? What, what does it have to do with you? You go through Jesus. That's it. And he takes you. He has the power to take you to the Father. You don't. Right? So, so, so let's connect some dots. You know, Our righteousness, like it says in Isaiah, is like filthy rags. Very similar to doo doo, right? Like you, you, because man is so puffed up, right? They actually believe that an imperfect being can do perfect works before a perfect God. If that makes any ounce of sense, please, someone, redefine what imperfect means. And redefine what perfect means. If a car has a terrible battery and will not start, how on earth can you take that same battery and switch it out on another car and expect for the car to work? How can an imperfect being all of a sudden switch their mind and instead of working on earth, they all of a sudden switch the battery, right? I quote that. Like they switch the battery to working for God and expect for it to work. Please break this down for yourself. For yourself. And understand how this does not make any sense. It, it, it's, it's almost baffling that people are that foolish to believe it. That foolish to believe that you, an imperfect being, can do perfect works out of your imperfection. Does that make any sense? No. All have fallen short of the glory of God, as it says in Romans. All have fallen short of the glory of God. Don't overthink it. Don't, don't do, don't overdo the definition of what, oh, well, but, oh, well, but. When Jesus says that you can do nothing outside of, it, he is the vine, you are the branches. You cannot do anything outside of him. So now if you're doing works out of, inside from your own effort, th th think about it. That's outside of Jesus. Okay, like this, it's not hard. It's not hard. Just, just think about it. If you are doing your works out of your own will, that's outside of Jesus' will, which is outside of Jesus. Now you've left and no one goes to the Father except through Him. And now you're doing works not in Him. So you are not... You're not in Jesus. You're not in Jesus at that point. You're in your own will. And your own will and your own righteousness is like filthy rags. And if you're bringing to a king the glory of glories, the, the holy of holies, the, the God Almighty that created everything known and unknown, that created everything that we see, that created existence itself, you are bringing filthiness before him. You wouldn't even feed yourself a sandwich of do filled with poop inside of it. What on earth makes you think that it's okay for you to waltz up to God's uh, uh, throne and his altar and lay down some works that are filled with doo-doo? This doesn't, you, you treat yourself better than you would God. And people believe that they can actually work for works to go to heaven. That they actually, out of their own will, I have to keep the Sabbath. I have to do these things. And then I'll inherit heaven. Whoo. Slow down, Catholics, slow down. There is no such thing as working for God's kingdom. Because God himself said, this is what you need. I can go on and on, but it's... It, it, it. 
Just think about that. Read these scriptures and go to it. And know that He is good. And that you cannot work for His righteousness. Because He said, you can't do anything outside of me. And if you can't do anything outside of Him, and you are working for your own righteousness, you can't work for it. You can't do anything outside of Him. He sanctified you. How then can you go and... and what? Think, think, think about these things. Think, think about it. Read it. Connect it. Right? Read, read diligently. Diligently read it. Connect it. This is not, it's not rocket science. It's not. Humble yourself so God can reveal to you what you need to know in order that you and your family might live. Think about these things. It's simple, simple stuff. Catholics really believe that they can work for heaven. That, that, that makes no sense. The apostles disagree with that. Read Romans, read Galatians, read Ephesians. Read the life of Jesus. No, no one comes to the Father except through Him. So if you are in Jesus, then you are doing works by the Spirit of God and not your own works. And those led of the Spirit are children of God. Like, we, we, we don't go around and just, you know, like, oh, yeah, you know, like, uh, like I, I got to work for this and I got to do this and I got to do that. You're taking away from what God's... Okay, so also what you're implying is that God's... What God did on the cross was not enough. Like, that, that's literally what is, what is also being said when you say, I have to work for, for heaven. So you're saying, as it says in, uh, I think it's Revelation, that wor worthy is the lamb who was slain, right? Like he, he is the only one worthy enough to open the scrolls. Who is worthy to open the scrolls? Jesus. If you are worthy to open the scroll, you can work for heaven. Because you're not worthy to open the scroll, sit down and trust in Jesus. Because if you were worthy to open the scroll, you would have, you would have died for us, not Jesus. Right. Like th these things are hard to hear. I might be saying it in a very uh, like uh, emphatic and, and passionate way. But understand that I'm, I'm trying to give it to you in, in, in the, the, the most clear, concise way as possible. That when you say you have to work for heaven, Jesus works on the cross that actually John the Baptist said, behold, the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. The Lamb, Jesus is the one that takes away the sin of the world. Because if we could work for heaven, logically speaking, there's no reason for Jesus to have come. Like, like, just, just, just think about these things. Don't just believe me and, oh, oh my goodness, what he said is true. No, actually think about it and then dissect it, meditate on it. And go read the scriptures to verify what I'm saying. I don't want you to just believe it just because I'm saying it. Go read the scriptures. Because if, G if we could work for heaven, there would be no real reason for Jesus to come. Because the whole point of him to come was to satisfy God's wrath so that we don't get separated from God. So that we do go to heaven by grace. And that we don't get hell by, by his mercy. So now if, if, G if if we could all attain heaven, there's no reason for him to have come. Because he was trying to cleanse us of our own sin so that we can stand before God, a holy God, and not basically be judged before the living God and then go to hell because of who he is. Like, it, it, it's, a, it's a tough thing to have and this literally requires like a th three hour video like me just reading through scripture explaining some of these things but I'm giving you the broad overview so I'm not like sitting here for like four hours right eventually I want to get to that point but now so like understand that like Catholicism is false because it, it proclaims you need to work for God and if the human being that is imperfect needs to work for a perfect God All hell has broken loose because now, now it, the entire gospel falls apart. 
Because the works of Jesus, God Almighty, because when Jesus said it is finished, you're saying, no, it's not. I still have to work. Then, then please explain to me why Jesus would, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do while he's on the cross. You, you, you think that's not true today? Do you think every single Christian knows what they're doing? Do you think every human being knows what they're doing? No, Jesus is still true. We need the Father to forgive us for we don't know what we're doing. Not everyone will, you know, will be there. But it, it Catholicism is false. Y'all just got to diligently read these things, think about it, logically put it together, ask God for guidance, go deep into the scriptures in the presence of God, and you'll know that the man, the human being, is fallible. The human being is 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 lacking is depraved of what god has that's why god had to make a way god had to do these things and still after god does these things and we receive it we're still in the we're still human we, we still need god more than ever we just realize it now that we need god but we only see that we need him because of what he did you can't do it by yourself jesus said it too man yeah.